Is the ABS light on in your old Toyota? This video is going to show you how to diagnose and fix it without using a scan tool. First you need to find out why the ABS light is coming on. So you need to go find the data link connector and open it up and go from there. For this 1998 Toyota Avalon, the data link connector is going to be all the way in the back here. Open it up. Next, remove the short pin from the data link connector or the DLC. Next, you're going to want to use a jumper wire or a paper clip to connect terminals E1 and TC. And you'll be able to find that on the back of the diagnosis cover here. You can see there, you can find E1 and TC. You're going to want to connect those two. There's E1. There's TC. Now I'm going to turn the key to the on position. And we're going to look to see how many flashes the ABS code gives. One, two, three. Pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the number there is 38. So the first few flashes, then you'll see a pause. Then the next number of flashes, add those together, and I have code number 38. So you can see here the different numbers of codes that there are. Codes 11 all the way down to see 41 here. Going on to the next page, you see 43 through 62. And mine is number 38. So that was three flashes, a pause, and eight flashes. Open circuit, the right rear speed sensor or circuit. So that tells me that most likely the right rear speed sensor needs to be replaced. Now my anti-lock brake system light came on right after I changed all four struts in my car. And I'm thinking I damaged one of the cables as I was doing that. So I purchased a replacement cable here online on eBay for about $10. Here's your ABS wire right here. You have three 10 millimeter bolts that need to be removed. One right there, one right here, and we have one more on the side, right where the speed sensor goes, connect to the wheel, right here. Sometimes a speed sensor uh, can get seized inside there, you might have to use a flathead screwdriver to pry it off here. It's fortunate that it didn't break completely apart. Sometimes it breaks inside there and you might have to use some pliers to get the rest of it out and clean it up before you can put the new one back in. Now that I have this removed, I'm going to have to go into the inside of my car in the back seat, remove some of the seat so that I can disconnect the end of it on the inside. Now we have to remove the back seat in order to get to the wires here. So we have to start by removing this bottom cushion. There should be three points of contact where it clips in. One, two, three. Now you're fortunate if you own a Camry because you only have to remove just this section of the seat in order to access that wire back there. But since I own an Avalon, I get to remove the whole back seat. To remove the back cushion, you have some bolts at the bottom here where the seat belts hold it in place and hold the seat in place. See, you should only need a 14 millimeter and a 12 millimeter to get it loose. Also a great time to get your vehicle cleaned out as well from the former owner. See that there's cigarettes, joints, and whatever stuff that might be in there. Now with the seat pulled back, I just pull back this lining here, and then there's the ABS wire coming out into here. You just have to disconnect this right here. And feed it back on the inside through here. We can pull it from the outside of the vehicle. Now from the wheel well, I can use a flathead to pry this rubber out. I can feed the new wire through that hole. Now I do recommend getting OEM replacement parts. Here's the original one. I was comparing it with the one that I just bought on eBay and I can tell that right here at this point in comparison to here it looks like this actually should belong on the other side of the vehicle but it does have an R for the right side and that's the side I'm changing. So it goes to show you get what you pay for when you're getting a $10 part off of eBay but I'm going to still try it out since it was a cheap part and see how it works anyway.
Now that the ABS sensor has been replaced, I'm going to turn my ignition to the on, but not with the engine running, and I'm going to depress the brake pedal eight times within five seconds after turning it to the on position. Now it's in the on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After doing that, it looks like the ABS light is continuously flashing without stopping with no pauses in between. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn my ignition completely off, and I'm going to remove the paper clip from the DLC and check it back again. I'm going to remove the paper clip and I'm going to put the short pin back in this front corner right here. Put the cover back on and see how it works. All right, let's give it a try. Looks like my ABS light is gone. I'm assuming my issue is now fixed.